Hey everyone, we are in Berlin right now, in Germany of course, and this man right here is one of uh, Germany's top sommeliers. Introduce yourself. Hello, uh, my name is Andre Masionga. Um, yeah, I'm working in restaurant Tim Rowe. Tim Rowe, um, one of the world's top 50 restaurants. We're so lucky. I'm actually very full at the moment because I've just had the most amazing luncheon. Now, we're doing something different here because you are making your own wines now in yes. collaboration with some of Germany's best wineries. Uh, tell me, what brought this all about? Mm -hmm. So uh, the thing is, sort of the um, as we start last year to start the company under Masionga um my idea is to create uh, wines that are telling an o own story. So I, um, of course, I'm a sommelier, so I want to make wines which go well for food pairing. So for me, it's not the most important thing to create the best Riesling or the best. Pinot, for example, for me is important to uh, create stories. So this is quite interesting that you said that because do you believe that winemakers make wine differently than what a sommelier would make a wine? Uh, yes, definitely. So a wine producer want to uh, get the best which is possible from their own parcel or wine yard to create a perfectly uh, beautiful uh, Riesling. This is not what I want to do. What do you want to do? Uh, I want to show what is possible. So you, you don't care, because you said something very, very interesting to me earlier. I don't care about the identity of the grape yeah. variety yeah. shining through. I want you to think, I don't even know what that wine is. It's mm. delicious, yeah. but it could be made up from anything. So that's quite interesting in that respect. Yes, yeah, sometimes, yeah, there's the, there's a funny thing. So. Um, for example, the assist v assist blend. So there, it is important for me that it's impossible to to get what is in. So because uh, there are so many different grapes, so many different styles of wine. Um, yeah, it's what it said. It's your own story. Now, what I really love about this because you know we all have a bit of an understanding of what German wine is. Yeah. But what I tasted today was nothing like I've tasted no. in German food. And in fact, I'm, I'm actually saying you're disrupting mm -hmm. the German wine industry because you're creating wines that we normally norm wouldn't see. That's true. And that's unusual. Is that what, what you were set out to do? Yeah, but yeah, maybe we want to show what is possible with German wines. Exactly. And it is possible. And you're being, you're being inspired by, you know, you were, one of your wines, you were, wanted, you were wanting to make Germany's version no. of Burgundy. We don't want. You, what do you want when you what were you when you were making that wine? What were you trying you know, to do? Um, important was to to have yeah my favorite wines from different regions in the world. Burgundy, of course, also maybe from Austria with the classic or typical minerality from German wines to put all together, and it's possible. It's possible in one place. It's possible with one producer, just to um, to yeah be creative in the cellar. Great now. We were saying that winemakers and sommeliers make two totally different kind of wine, mm -hmm. different approaches to the wine. Do you believe that, um, I'm just going to say it out there, maybe winemakers should actually spend some more time working in restaurants <laughs> in, that, in order to have an understanding of how their wines are being consumed in the end. Yeah. If you were going to give a winemaker a job in the restaurant, what would you get them to do? Maybe to help me to open some bottles or <laughs> maybe to... No. Can they carry three plates? Yes. Can they recommend it? Like in the end, let's be fair, they're, they're probably going to be in the back of the kitchen washing dishes, maybe. Yeah, first of all, everyone has to start washing. Exactly, wash the dishes yes. and then build your way up. <laughs> anyway, hey, thank you very much for thank inviting you. me. This man is a star and his wines are incredible. So thank if you. you can find them, you, you probably just need to go to your website. What is your website so people can find it? Uh, yeah, our website is andremasionga.qv.com uh, and yeah, there you find everything we do, some special wines, special blends, and yeah. Yeah, you need to get in quickly because those wines are so limited. So one of the wines is only 500 bottles, and I'm sure it's probably already sold out, but they're so delicious. Good <laughs> on you. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Say goodbye to everyone. Goodbye.